After last week's thriller at the Charlotte Motor Speedway, we arrive to the St. Louis metropolitan area in Madison, Illinois for race number 18 of the 32 race season in the Season 5 Trinity River Cup Series. With 15 races to go, we arrive here this 1.25 mile track for the Hardy's Feed Your Happy 500K. This is the third time we've ever come to the Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. The previous two races won by Sebastian Kukulon and Kanan Biller. Last year's race came down to a five car shootout in lap traffic. That will not be the case this year as we have the wave around at our disposal now. The season three race went caution free. Don't know if that's going to happen this year but it led to a thrilling battle between Sofia Fragnini and Sebastian Kukulon, with Kukulon becoming the victor. We'll see what the third iteration has in store tonight. Coming into this one, let's take a look at the championship point standings coming in. Brayden Perez leads with 425 points towards the championship, 2 ahead of Chase Buck, 12 ahead of Elijah Gordon, 13 ahead of Sebastian Kukulon, 16 ahead of Eric Monaco, 29 ahead of Alex Lozano, 31 ahead of John Andrews, 34 ahead of Jacob Thibodeau, 34 also ahead of Brad Stover, and 37 ahead of Anthony McClure. That's the top 10. Thomas Truxel, the last one to come in within a race worth of points of Braden Perez. He's 42 points behind Perez. Let's get these cars rolling off the grid here at Gateway. It is Brock Nelson on the bowl position. Chase Buck starting alongside. Row number two, we find Brandon Hayes and Sebastian Kukulon. Row three, it is Justin Zidell and Mitchell Collins. Row four, Dale Lightning and William Brock. Rounding out the top ten, Roberta Crown Jr. and Kyle McLeese. That is the top ten. A lot of really good drivers up there in the top ten. I believe we have everybody rolling off here. Yes, we do. 50 laps, 100 kilometers, 62.5 miles tonight here at this two-kilometer racetrack in Madison, Illinois. 1.25 miles to make the to make a full lap around here. And we are just about ready to get going. Brock Nelson's riding a winless streak that dates back to Indianapolis. Chase Buck last one at North Wilkesboro two weeks ago. Brandon Hayes has won at Iowa this year. Sebastian Kukulon has yet to win this year, but comes in fourth in the championship standings. Justin Zydell has never won in his Trinity River Cup Series career in a points-paying race. Mitchell Collins has not won in almost two years. Dale Lightning has not won since November of 2020. He's looking to change that tonight. William Brock has never won in his Trinity River Cup Series career, nor has Roberto Crown Jr. Kyle McLeese last won in over a year ago now at the World 600. Here we go, we're ready to go. Green flag racing at Gateway. Brock Nelson and Chase Buck lead us to the green in the Hardys feature happy 500K. Nelson clears Buck up front, will lead lap number one here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. So it's Chase Buck who falls into the second position. It is Justin Zydell on the inside of Brandon Hayes for third. It will be that 83, pulling ahead of the 84. Dale Lightning looking to the inside of that 84 now. Looking for that fourth spot as the top two have stretched away for the time being. Brock Nelson for Ryan Durrani Incorporated, Chase Buck for the Monkey Buck Racing Team. Justin Zydell out of Trinity River Racing comes in 22nd in the championship standings. Dale Lightning for Dracoan, Brandon Hayes for Polar Star. And Hayes dives it in on the outside. We'll pull ahead of that five as Kukulon slips back on the outside. Roberto Crown Jr. sideways down low. Able to hold on to it, the Wisconsin Racing Incorporated driver. Up front, could Buck be going for a run on Brock Nelson? Not quite able to. 
So Nelson has led the first three laps of this one. Three wide back here. Kyle McLeese in between Chase Harris and last week's winner, Max Sterling at the World 600. It's a couple of Logan Sport teammates there side by side. Looks like McLeese might get the spot from his rookie teammate up front. Buck still trying to get around that 73. Oh, Nelson slips wide a little bit. Here comes Buck down low. Nelson pins the throttle wide open on the outside. We're side by side coming to the line. Nelson by just under a car length ahead of Buck at the line. But Buck's going to have a nice chance of getting the lead on the inside through one and two. And indeed he'll do so. Zydell trying to figure out where to go. What's going to be the dominant line heading into three? The outside of the inside, but Nelson fights back on that outside line. Through three and four. Oh man, what a run off the top side by Nelson. And that slowed down the 45's momentum. And that slowed up Zydell as well as Hayes gets up into the mix. Zydell's going to try that high side on Buck. And he'll not be able to get anything going. One car has already come into the pits. It's Mitchell Henderson in the 53. Something happened with him. Maybe a quick tire down or something. But he's one lap down at this point. So this could make things interesting up front. Expecting the pit cycle, by the way, to be about lap 30 tonight. For the vast majority of the field. Caution's out. Big crash. Back straight away. And teammates from All-Star Speed Team... Trey Smith and Blake Parker, and both of them are going to fall out of the race. Looks like Kanan Biller as well may have gotten a piece. In the 81, he's down in the pits. Goodness gracious. So the first caution comes out at the end of lap number six. It looks like it was a brutal one. But it's Brock Nelson leading the way as the field gets sorted out. And it doesn't look like anybody else will come into the pits. Again, expecting about lap 30 for it to happen. So it's not really a surprise. But Nelson leads the way. He'll lead the field to the green flag here shortly. Let's go back and take a look at what happened to bring out this first caution flag. So here's what happened. Parker slides up into the quarter panel of Thibodeau. Kicks the 14 out sideways. And it Catch the O2 of Parrish, go up into the wall very hard there, and spinning around off of Scott Upton. Then Trey Smith comes in and hits his teammate. And Thomas Troxel, oh my goodness, how does the 62 not hit the 14? But goodness sakes, a incident involving only the two teammates. Don't know what happened to Kane and Bill. It looks like he was already in the pits. So, looks like it was just a failure of some sorts on Biller. So, watching in this turn, oh, Parrish into the back of the 14, sends the 14 up into the 32, then off the 02 into the wall, and there's Smith slamming his teammate. Goodness sakes. And we can't complete this without going on board with Thomas Troxel. There's the 14 getting sideways, there's the 10 hitting him, and then Troxel somehow is able to slow down and not hit that 14. Holy smokes. Welcome back to your live coverage here at the Worldwide Technology Raceway. The Hardys feed your happy 500k. Race 18 of the 32 race Trinity River Cup Series season. Caution coming out for an incident on the back straightaway involving Trey Smith and Blake Parker. Kane and Biller also falling out of the race with a camshaft issue. Mitchell Henderson was the only car lap down. He's now back on the lead lap here in that 53 body armor Team Velocistar Honda Civic. A Honda Civic leads the way here at the Worldwide Technology Raceway. Brock Nelson ahead of the Mercedes of Chase Buck, the Toyota of Justin Zydell, the Chevy of Brandon Hayes, the Aston Martin of Dale Lightning, and then Crown, Kukulon, Collins, Andrews, and Teague round out the top ten. Green flag is back out at Gateway. What a launch by Chase Buck on the restart. Roberta Crown Jr. already getting down to the inside of Dale Lightning back there for that fifth spot. Into turn number one. I thought Buck might have pulled down to the inside of the 73. He chose not to. 
already seeing a lot of fanning out deeper in the field as they head down the long straightaway into turn number three. It's a very unusual racetrack. In a lot of ways, it's like a short track, but it's 1.25 miles and not less than a mile. So now we're 20% of the way through this race on the lap number 11. 40 laps to go in this one. Three wide back here with two-time winner Anthony McClure down low, making a daring move on Max Sterling and Chase Harris. He's known to make moves like that. We've, we've seen it from him at Minnesota. We saw it from him at the Bend. Both of those races he won. Also making a daring move to the inside, defending vice champion Kyle McLeese. On the inside of Trey Wright and Colin Teague, although looks like McLeese is not going to be able to make it work for the time being. They'll pull it in behind the 95 as the Nissan of Colin Teague struggles on that outside line. So up ahead, it's still Brock Nelson leading the way. Do we have a caution out? Yes, we do. Looks like up in the turn two area, turn one and two area, Christian Vargas might have got tipped around. So the caution is going to come back out on that one. A very minor incident, looks like. And we'll see where, see if we can see where the smoke is at. So the skid mark's right there in the turn. So a, another incident, another little little itty bitty one. Going to bring out the caution once again. It doesn't look like we're going to take anybody out of the race as a result of this one. I now don't see any damage on that 05. And looks like the field's going to go ahead and come down. So well, it was going to be a one stopper, but this lead group is now going to be a two stopper. Although John Andrews is going to be brave and stay out on the racetrack. He's going to try to stretch it to keep it a one-stopper. And you know what? I like that move. We'll see how it works out for him. We know he's going to get a bonus point towards the championship when he comes around the next time through for leading a lap. But now we have to see who's going to file in behind him because Andrews was the only one to stay out. Literally everybody else came in. So no matter what, they're going to have to do one stop. Everybody's going to have to do one stop the rest of the way. Uh, Crown out. Zydell out. Oh, Zydell's going to jump Nelson. Nelson second, then Crown Buck. Hayes, that's the top five. Goodness sakes. What a pit stop for Justin Zydell. So that 83 wins the race off pit road. Now file in second position behind John Andrews, who will officially come around this next time through to be, I believe, the first driver not named Brock Nelson to lead tonight. But nobody's falling out of the race under this caution flag. It'll be Andrews leading the field to the green flag here shortly. Let's go back and take a look at what happened to Christian Vargas. So heading off into the corner here, a big stack up up front. Samadio into the back of Vargas, turns the 05 around, and oh, Keegan Thompson, how does he get through? But Vargas up, nose first into the wall, and that is what brought out the caution here at Gateway. Go on board with Keegan Thompson here. This happens just ahead of him, just barely misses that 0-5. Couldn't get much closer than that. So here they are heading off into one once again. Samadio into the back of the 05. Sends Vargas up and into the wall. Not super hard contact, but it's definitely going to set Vargas behind the eight ball. Lights off atop the pace car here at the Gateway Motorsports Park. Welcome back to the Hardys. Feed your happy 500k. Caution number two coming out for an incident involving... I assume Christian Vargas. We'll have to take a look at the replay. Of course, you already have at home. I believe it was Christian Vargas. He's the only one I saw that was behind the pack on the racetrack. But uh, caution out, and we are getting the restart this time through. Andrews leads the way. Then Seidel, Nelson, Crown, Buck, Hayes, Collins, Wright, Lightning, and McLeese. The top ten is Andrews, the Atlanta winner. 
out of Waco, Texas. Friend Running Incorporated in that Honda Honda Civic will lead the field to the green flag. Andrews comes in seventh in the championship standings, looking to capitalize on a brave strategy call, the only one to stay out under this caution flag. Zidell and Nelson a good launch behind. Oh, Zidell with a big slip in one and two up to that outside line. And Nels Nelson's car is just so, so strong tonight. You know he's going to try to capitalize on the opportunity that Zidell has given him. Zidell trying to work that outside in three and four. And it looks like he might be able to. Nelson, not a good exit out of three and four. Brandon Hay is going to take a look to the inside as well. See if he can capitalize on Roberto Crown Jr. being up top. This would be for the fourth position. A little deeper look at the field. Oh, sideways. That's the 53 of Mitchell Henderson sideways back there. He's able to hold on to it. Goodness sakes. As up front, here comes Justin Zidell down to the inside. And I thought that was inevitable. Zidell into the lead on those fresh tires. And Andrews is going to go backwards. That might not have worked. That might not work out as well as Andrews was hoping for after all. This is a track that is very, very hard to pass on. So Andrews was maybe hoping to just take advantage of that, but not able to. He'll slip backwards. Nelson tried to get down to the inside of Zidell that time. Not able to. So a sizable lead now for Justin Zidell heading off into that first turn. But Nelson and Hayes and Crown close in mightily now. Ding dong, are we going to see a race now? Into that third turn, Nelson peeks down to the inside. Zidell slips up once again. Here's Nelson down to the inside. Zidell fights back on that outside once again. That car is just so strong up there. Nelson tries to dive it in again, though. He'll pull in behind that 83 and behind three wide. Right down to the inside of Lightning and Andrews. Andrews still slipping backwards in another three wide situation. With this time with Mitchell Collins and Colin Teague. Teague slips in behind that 43. Collins the benefactor from that three wide battle as up front Nelson down to the inside of Zidell and now Brock Nelson will retake the lead here at Gateway thrilling stuff on this green flag run absolutely Brandon Hayes settles into that third position just behind him and while those two battle at the front Brandon Hayes has got to be thinking he might have an opportunity. Your points leader, Braden Perez, by the way, still here on the inside of Alex Lozano. And Perez right now running the last time through in the 23rd position. So not a good run so far for the points leader. Chase Buck, second in points, right now runs in the fifth position. And so if things stay the way they are right now, Chase Buck would come out of here with the points lead. So we'll see how things uh, hold up for the rest of this race tonight. Of course, Andrews, the only one now we're expecting to come down about lap 40. He still s continues to slip backwards on that outside. Now getting passed by two-time winner this year, rookie Anthony McClure. Caleb Rose now getting to the inside as well. Meanwhile, Brock Nelson has pulled away to a sizable lead up front ahead of Justin Zidell. Brandon Hayes still resides in the third position. Roberto Crown Jr. settles into fourth. Chase Buck still in fifth, but might get overtaken by Dale Lightning here. Coming from the sixth position now. Lightning tried it, but Buck will have great defense up on the outside for the time being. 
What a run on the high side out of turn four. We've seen it several times tonight. Have to see if that inside lane ever really comes into play. In fact, it might on old tires. We'll just have to see what happens. Of course, nobody up here towards the front is on old tires right now. Literally everyone else except that 41 came down under this last caution. So I would expect them to come down sometime in the early to mid 40s for their last stop. And heck, some of them might try to stretch it the rest of the way. But Andrew's surely going to come down sometime here real soon. We'll see where that 41 is now. All the way back to 23rd. And Perez has slipped back to 27th actually. So your points leader not having a good run at all tonight. Because there he is back in traffic. All three of the PHR cars back here. Troxel, Thibodeau, and Perez. And just a massive cluster. Things have spread out up front. Brock Nelson might have a one second lead coming by this time. Here's Brandon Hayes diving to the inside of Justin Zydell. That's for second. Looks like that 83 is going to hold on to that second spot still. And a little over almost 1.3 seconds for Brock Nelson, in fact. So Brock Nelson comes into this race 25th in the championship standings. And his last win coming at the Brickyard 400 one year ago. You see the gap back to Justin Zydell there, out from behind the 73. Zydell with a big slip there on Hayes. Hayes down to the inside, trying to make it work. He will not be able to. Roberto Crown Jr. trying to make that outside lane work, heading off into turn number one. That is for third on the racetrack. Hayes powers back on the inside, says no thank you. So Mitchell Henderson will come into the pits. He came down early as well. So Henderson, this should be his last stop. He's been running towards the back all night. Not a good run for Mitchell Henderson. But that stop will ensure that he's good to the end. Brock Nelson comes around now 1.6 seconds ahead of Justin Zydell. And a big slide by Chase Buck there. And Trey Wright looking to get around that 45. No Bucks focused on the big picture. Braden Perez 27th on the racetrack right now. And Bucks trying to come out of here with a championship lead. Side by side for second between Roberto Crown Jr. and Justin Zydell. And Roberto Crown Jr. looks like he's going to make that inside lane work. At least enough to stay side by side with that 83. Heading off into turn number one. Brandon Hayes trying to make it a three car battle. As Crown gets ahead of the 83, now it's a battle for third. Seidel fights back on that outside. We'll hold on to that third spot. But a big slip by the 83 again. Here comes Hayes down low. Tires are definitely starting to wear now. And actually Mitchell Henderson has fallen three laps down. So evidently he didn't just come down for service. He might have had something seriously wrong with that 53. So that will definitely, that will all but take Mitchell Henderson out of race winning contention for today. As we come around for 19 laps to go in this one, everybody chasing down Brock Nelson or trying to. Two and a half seconds the lead now for that 73. He has just dominated this race so far. He is on absolute cruise control right now. There's Alejandro Cruz Jr. and Kyle McLeese going at it. That's for 10th. So move that 46 into the top 10 and knock the defending vice champion out of it. 
2.65 up front the gap the last time through. Side by side back here between Colin Teague and Mitchell Collins. And Mitchell Collins will stretch ahead. That's for seventh, by the way. Collins will hold off that 97. You know this last pit cycle is going to be coming up shortly. As soon as we tick to the 40s, you've got to be thinking somebody's going to try to come down. It's going to be this close. And Nelson, I would imagine, I would imagine he's going to be one of the first ones to come down. He's probably used up his stuff already. Or he'll try to use that big gap to his advantage and try to just cruise from here. So now the average race speed is up a little over 100 miles per hour at this point. We've had two cautions in this one. Both of them came earlier on. One of them was a hard incident involving a couple of teammates. The other involving a quick spin by, I guess, Christian Vargas, who now runs 32nd. And John Andrews evidently did come into the pits. And there is that 41. His teammate, Brock Nelson, leads the way. So it's going to be two sides of the coin for Ryan Durrani Incorporated. John Andrews tried a strategy, but is now 36th, one lap down. And the other driver, Brock Nelson, who has yet to win this year, continues to dominate the Hardys' feature happy 500k. As we come around for 15 laps to go this next time through. Your points leader, Braden Perez, still in that 27th position. He's trying to catch up to that. He's been working on this 57 for several laps now. Has not been able to get around Alex Lozano. Here's Jacob Thibodeau trying to get to the inside of Ace Garcia. This is back for 24th. Samadio tried Elijah Gordon. That's for 21st. Thibodeau's not able to get there on that 52. The Honda Cruz Jr. there around the 45. That's his teammate, Chase Buck. Buck slipping backwards. Now Cruz diving to the inside of Collins. Goodness. He tried, but he's not able to get down there. But up front, you can see just how much the pace has slowed for the leaders. We are getting closer and closer to seeing the pit cycle begin. Who's going to be the first taker? And who's going to be able to stretch it, if anybody? I think we'll be able to see the whole cycle go through like we did one week ago at Charlotte, but uh, remains to be seen. Justin Zidell took a peek there on Roberto Crown Jr. Trying to pry that three off the inside. This is the battle for second right now. As the gap up front is now almost three seconds for Brock Nelson. Take a look at it as he heads off into this corner. Look at how big that gap is back to the three of Roberta Crown Jr. As they're now side by side with Justin Zydell. And Zydell is going to move into the second position. Zydell's been running up front all night long. Tremendous run for him if he holds on here and comes out of here with a good finish be a great points night for Justin Zydell but now 3.6 seconds the difference between Brock Nelson and Justin Zydell this one's over unless something changes in the pits 11 to go this time Four seconds now the difference. Here's Teague down to the inside of Trey Wright. That is for the fifth position on the racetrack. Wright trying to make that outside lane work. Into three. Teague with a dive down low. Noses ahead. And looks like he'll clear Wright. just barely clears that 95. 
But now right with a die on the outside into turn number one. And the battle rages on again. Is anybody coming down here? Does not look like it. But Roberto Crown Jr. dives to the inside of an 83 once again for that second spot. And Crown will get it. And meanwhile, Brock Nelson just says, guys, keep it up. 4.4 seconds the difference up front, but still need that last pit cycle to happen. And who's going to try to stretch it? Who's going to have to come down? And when do you do it? An absolutely enormous gap. Back to the three of Roberta Crown Jr. It's going to be five seconds, I believe, this time through for Brock Nelson. Almost five back to Justin Zidell, but four and a half back to Roberto Crown Jr. So things are kind of starting to stabilize, at least for now. Here's a side-by-side -side back here. Max Sterling and Marty Sakela going at it. Max Sterling, last week's winner, and might have a three-car battle going on here. No, we're going to see the pit stop start. Lap 43, here we go. This is a dangerous entry into the pits as well. So everyone's got to be... Oh, boy! Car slipping wider there. Ace Garcia and Jacob Thibodeau. And are they going to make it? Oh, Ace Garcia just clips that wall, but he's going to make it in. Just barely. Brock Nelson stayed out on the racetrack, 5.4 seconds ahead. Now he's going to come into the pits. Zydell's going to come into the pits. Brandon Hayes down. And again, a very, very sketchy entry into the pits here. A very narrow warm-up lane. But they make it work so far. Looks like Steven Cologne's going to stay out. He'll get a bonus point towards the championship. And Stover's going to slide wide. Don't hit the wall, please. Don't hit the wall. Please don't hit the wall. Oh, my goodness. Just misses it. So, Roberta Crown Jr. back out on the racetrack. Dale Lightning, Priya McShane back out on the racetrack. Steven Cologne needs to come down. I believe Nicholas Samadio has already done so. So, now Steven Cologne comes in. And where is Brock Nelson? There's Nelson. I believe Nelson is going to be even further ahead coming out of this cycle than he was coming in. We'll see about Roberto Crown Jr. though. Roberto Crown Jr. has got the momentum going. Oh uh, yeah, that is an enormous gap. Up to Brock Nelson. So, Stephen Cologne is going to come out of the pits here. I don't think he's going to be able to jump the 73. We'll see. There's Cologne. Uh, no chance at all. So Brock Nelson back into the lead here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. And over three seconds. 3.4 seconds ahead of Roberto Crown Jr. And one of the most dominating performances we've seen so far this year. Brock Nelson virtually flawless all night what a statement when this is about to be for that Ryan Durrani incorporated team in that car number 73 four laps to go so it'll be crown second Zydell in third for the time being Priya McShane is up to fourth haven't talked about her hardly all night what a run by Priya McShane, who's been struggling this year. That whole ent that whole entire well, not the whole entire team. This Alex Lozano's been running really well. But Priya McShane comes into this one. Fit well, okay, not really struggling, but 15th. Very quiet so far this year. But definitely pales in comparison to her teammate, Alex Lozano, who runs top 10 in points. And the caution's going to come out that, wait, folks, this one's not over yet. This is not over yet. The caution is out. 
And I think somebody may have turned Andrew Williams around. Oh, man. That's... Oh, man. Brock Nelson's going to be heartbroken for that. So we'll have a green-white checker to finish this one at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Andrew Williams in the pits to fix what damage he may have sustained. And so caution number three is out at Gateway. And with that, we'll have a late race restart. Will Nelson be able to hold on? Will Crown or Zydell be able to get around? We're going to find out. Everybody's on fresh tires. So... It's anybody's race now up front. But real quick, before we get back going, let's take a look back at what brought out this third and probably the final caution of the night. So heading off into one again, it's McClure into the back of Andrew Williams, turns that 50 up into the wall, just right hooks him. Goodness, he's pulling off his best Chase Elliott impression. Into the wall goes the 50 and takes the 24 McClure with him. And, uh, well, McClure really did pull off a Chase Elliott impression, because Elliott didn't just right hook Hamlin, he damaged his own car. So, that's exactly what Anthony McClure there. I don't know what provoked that, and there, Brad Stover runs into the back of the 50. Goodness, and look at all the debris scattering all over the place. But, uh, we really only need that one angle to see it. Uh, we've got, uh, a late race restart coming up. Well, here we go. Late race restart. In overtime, for the first time this year, Brock Nelson leads the way. He's dominated the night. Roberta Crown Jr. second, trying to pull the upset. Justin Zydell third, Priya McShane fourth, Dale Lightning in fifth. Caution coming out for an incident involving Andrew Williams. Williams has fallen out of the race. He joins Brock, uh, Blake Parker, Trey Smith, and Kanan Biller behind the wall. It's only the third caution of the night, but it's going to set us to a two-lap shootout here at Gateway. Waiting for that green flag to fly. It is green-white checkers here in the Hardys feature. Happy 500k. And, oh, Nelson, what a great launch. He's already ahead of everybody. Already gone. Up front. Roberto Crown Jr. tries to close in, though. Priya McShane, a big dive there on Justin Zydell. That's for the third spot. Down the back straightaway. A very clean restart, honestly, further back. And Priya McShane's going to come into the pits. And Dale Lightning's going to come into the pits. Oh, please watch out, everybody. McShane's going to make it back in, and we'll have the white flag. One lap to go at Gateway. Brock Nelson tries to hold on. Roberto Crown Jr. in second, Justin Seidel third, Brandon Hayes fourth, Trey Wright is fifth. Wright is stuck back in a mess though. But up front, the battle for the lead is on Nelson, who's dominated the night. Crown Jr. trying to get their first career win. Brandon Hayes side by side with Justin Seidel behind, but up ahead, it will be Brock Nelson holding on and winning here at Gateway. Crown second, Hayes third, Zydell fourth, Trey Wright is fifth. And thank goodness Brock Nelson won that race. He absolutely deserved to. Was worried that he was going to have it slip through his fingers. He's dominated the night. And even with a late caution, it's not going to deter him. Not going to keep him from winning. What a performance by the driver of this 73 getting it done in the Hardy's Feed Your Happy 500K. Very strange race here at Gateway, I'm not gonna lie. Very strange one. But a fun one nonetheless. Unusual indeed. But dominated by Brock Nelson who comes in 25th in the championship standings definitely going to pick up a bunch of points after this one tonight from the pole what a performance
Let's take a look at the race finishing results here. Brock Nelson wins an average race speed of 96.245 miles per hour by just over two tenths of a second ahead of Roberto Crown Jr. Brandon Hayes third, Justin Zidel fourth, Trey Wright fifth, then Colin Teague, Mitchell Collins, Nicholas Samadio, Marty Sakela, and Scott Upton round out the top ten. Scrolling through the rest of your race finishing results. And uh, a lot of cars, well, not a lot, but looks like about five of them unable to finish here. Chase Buck is marked as retired, but uh, still comes home 27th. Mitchell Henderson finishes two laps down, 35 finishing on the lead lap. Andrew Williams, Blake Parker, Trey Smith, and Kanan Biller falling out of this one. But again, a very interesting race here at the Gateway Motorsports Park. Big congratulations on a dominating performance for Brock Nelson tonight. And we will see you next weekend at, I believe, we will be heading to Pocono. Let me see here. I want to make sure I get this right. Yes, indeed. The Pocono Raceway in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. We'll hope to see you then. One more congratulations to Ryan Durrani Incorporated and Brock Nelson for getting it done here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. We will see you next week at Pocono. Until then, y'all take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Thank you.